everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today, I'll be talking about and reviewing Atypical, the Netflix series about an autistic teen. And no footage from this series will be used to avoid copyright issues here on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by Atypical itself, which the series is about a teenage boy on the spectrum named Sam Gardner who lives with his parents Doug and Elsa and his younger sister Casey. He works with his best friend and co-worker Zaid Raja at a electronics store called Tectopolis. Then there's Sam's therapist and brief crush Julia Saki and his eventual girlfriend Paige Hardaway. The show covers what Sam goes through from finding a girlfriend to going to college and even seeking independence from his parents. Even though this series is mainly about Sam, it also covers the points of view of Casey who later her discovers she's LBGTQ and gets into a private high school on a track scholarship. Elsa and Doug having affairs and cheating on each other. Julia discovering she's pregnant and later becomes a single parent. Sam also has an obsession with Antarctica, penguins, and the aquarium. The series has three seasons currently with a fourth and final one coming to Netflix sometime later this year. The first season covers Sam as he's interested in dating. At first, it doesn't go right as one of the girls he meets accidentally gets hit and doesn't understand him for what he did. Meets Paige, who at first is his practice girlfriend, then breaks up with her to try to date his therapist, Julia, who turns him down, gets him upset, and which leads to him having a meltdown on the bus. But later on, Sam realizes his mistake and makes it up the page. The second season covers Sam kissing a girl named Bailey Bennett, who was also in season one as a bully. Arlo, who has known Sam since they were younger, who had been bullying him since the first season, takes advantage of him by scamming him of his money, smashing his iPhone, and eventually trying to put him down by calling him names through the yearbook. Sam and Zaid being arrested by the police, who a police officer thought he was high on drugs but didn't understand him after wandering away from Zaid's house for a sleepover. Finally, Paige standing up for him, which leads to her losing her voice before she and Sam graduate, then both admit they have feelings for each other. Season 3 focuses on Sam and Paige's relationship, dealing with college and so much more. Some of these incidents that happened to Sam, like being bullied, has happened to me. Being turned down by girls, getting people easily upset, also being arrested, but not like what Sam went through though. Having meltdowns, interested in college, and lastly seeking independence. I feel for Sam as like with Seal, Sean, and Minato and The Good Doctor, I can relate to these characters as they remind me of what I went through while growing up. I highly recommend Atypical, as it can be seen on Netflix. Starting in Season 2, real actors who are autistic were brought in along with those who wrote stories that relate to autism. Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times when heading out, depending on certain situations, wear masks, Get vaccinated, practice social distancing, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, and lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and finally, we are getting through these dark times together.